Good morning and welcome back to NHL 14 Live the Life with Bear Jacobson. Ah, the start of a new year and new opportunities. Two years with Vancouver and we couldn't make it past the first round of playoffs. This could be a new year. Let's see what happens against these Edmonton Oilers, a back-to-back -back, if I recall correctly. And we are playing Eddie Lack in the first game of the season. That is quite strange. I hope we didn't trade Luongo away because a four-star starter goalie will uh, possibly spell disaster. But it's 3-2 to start off this year. The first third season that we will play. Or the first, sorry, the first third period of the third season that we will play. There we go. I got it that time. And the Oilers will ice the puck. Hamus will tag up tag it up and we will take it back to are you just gonna skate into the glass sir what are you doing okay aside from goalies our first line looks exactly the same we have the Sedins, Tangay who uh, we picked up later in the year I don't believe he was on the first line at the start although I could be wrong um, you know that's always a possibility just straight up okay don't let them around don't let them around the nuge nope oh taylor hall had it in front but lack with a good save right there number 31 like all other goalies in the league and that was a taylor hall that was a nice try it just wasn't nice enough bear jacobson had you covered because he is the number one defenseman of all time of all time although you know not really he's pretty bad mainly because i'm pretty bad but for, they play me on the first line anyway so who really cares you know that cross crease is not going anywhere but that rebound picked up by the nuge and it goes in past lack i tried to get him but i didn't have the hit stick held down so i didn't hit him and ryan nugent hopkins will score his first of the year first of many I'm certain. Taylor Hall just standing there. He's like, yeah, I'll just watch this play out. We know it's going to happen. And whoop, just slip it right by Lack's right pad. You were lacking on that one. <laughs> Word puns. Oh, they're the best. Alice Hemsky. Okay. He's taking it all the way back. I mean, I suppose that's what you want to do. I think that's Tyler Kennedy up there in number 48 a new acquisition this year we played with him a little bit in uh preseason and by played with i mean we simulated <laughs> and he was there potter oh and gagne gagne picks up that rebound from potter's shot and puts it into the back of the net oh, man. okay so we just went from being up three to two to being down four to two man yeah, that was just a rebound given up by Lack, along with poor defending. Although, really, we were kind of there. We just, I didn't know what to do in the situation. It was all happened so fast. But uh, we may just give up. Oh, that is uh, Sam Gagne's second of the year already, so he might get a hat trick in his first game out. He's got 14 minutes to do so. Guys, let's band together and let him do that. Looks like we got Kessler, 14 is probably still Burroughs, and that's 20. Higgins still over there on the left, so uh, this line looks to be about the same. Get that back to Bear. Over to Hamuse. Hamuse launching it towards the net. It was tipped, it looked like, but Lucas... No, that's not Luca. I was thinking of Lucas Spisa, but that is Smeed, and I don't know who Smeed is. But Hamuse will send it around. Reeves will pick it up, and it's tipped in front. Where's the puck? Hamuse has it. All the way up to Higgins. Higgins... Hit it back to Bear. Oh, oh, they're going to hit me. They're just going to hit Yeah, just throw that on me. They were going to hit me. They were going to hit me, and I was going to be hurt. A huge shot, and Hovening with a glove save. Who is this fellow? He's new, I believe. Or maybe he was their backup last year or something. I don't know. Crazy things are happening. Huh. Hartikainen had a good hit, apparently. Or, no, he had a good shot. Oh, yeah, he tipped the puck. So that made it a very good attempt, but it went right to Lack's pad, and that was when the puck was lost, and Hamus ended up with it. Okay, we're over doubling them in hits, so that's good, guys. Now turn those hits into goals, right? You can do that. There's just a currency conversion. It's just 
40 hits equals one goal, if I recall correctly. Justin Schultz sending it to the Nuge, who sends it back to Schultz and back to the Nuge. Oh, and a shot on net. Okay, back it up, Hansen. Oh, good, good. Up to Booth. Booth, we're following you. Oh, darn it, man. Oh, K Tyler Kennedy picking it up. Tyler Kennedy losing it to Hovenen. Okay, good job, Tyler. You, you tried your best. I expect big things from you, Kennedy. You got it? You got it? You're a former penguin, a former shark. You didn't do that much on either team. I've always wondered why he's number 48. I'm pretty sure that was his number on the penguins. But when he went to the Sharks. I'm not sure if he changed it then or if like Tomas Hurdle booted him out of number 48 and he moved to 81 because Hurdle's 48 and so the first time I picked this game up I was like oh look there's Hurdle and it was like Kennedy and I'm like that's not Kennedy. <laughs> uh, okay back it up push him outside yep get the puck off that stick that is exactly what we wanted all the way up uh, Taylor Hall picking that one out of mid pass. Okay, well, he, he's just going to get chased back to the zone and toss it around for Tangay to pick up. Tangay has it. He's wrapping it around one kind of. Oh, to Henrik Sedin, who puts it in the net. That was a goof goal if I've ever seen one, but we will take that one. Because if goof goals are what it takes to win, Henrik Sedin's second of the year. For him, he can get a hat trick too. If goof goals are what it takes to win this year, we will take every last one of them to get back to the playoffs. Another chance at the Stanley Cup. But uh, I don't know. The way I like playing this game is I don't like sticking around in one place for too long. So that may be all of our time on Vancouver after this year. I mean, we'll, we'll have to see what happens, I suppose. 547 left. A tied game at four. Thankfully, we got at least the tie back. We are no longer winning, but uh, the tie is better than losing. We're going to take that in. Shoot that. Break a stick. Nick Schultz will get it. Uh, Justin Schultz will get it. We have our stick back. I had to quiet down so that I could hear the commentators say if I was back in the play or not. Because uh, that's what it takes when you can't see your character. Okay, we took him away from the rebound, so that's good. Uh, Daniel Sedin tried to get a pass all the way up to uh, Henrik, but it bounced off of Tangay. And another tipped pass, but Schultz will get that one. Oh, we will destroy Eberly, but... Wow, it doesn't matter. Who was that? Was that Gagne? If that was Gagne, no, it was number four. That was Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall will score a goal. His first of the year from the Nuge and Everly. But man, oh man. Oh, geez, look at Everly. He's like doing a ballerina twirl right there. I'm not even watching the goal. Yeah, gets up, does like a pirouette. <laughs> pirouette? I don't know how it's pronounced. I don't want to do this stuff. And the Edmonton Oilers are up 5-4. to four. So we have just under five minutes left to turn this around, guys. You got it? So let's turn this around, guys. Well, now we have two minutes and 50 seconds, so it's looking less and less likely. Petrie. Petrie, what's going to do with it? He's going to throw it all the way up to, uh, I didn't see that name, but he's going to dump it around. Barry, you're going to be, that pick that, pick, be there to pick that up. Good stuff. Hamus thankfully gets the puck from us, and I don't really know what that was. He got that glitch where it does that super hard pass for no explainable reason, but that will be icing on us. Uh, thankfully, we won't get changed because it was an icing, so the coach can't pull us off when we're just missing, like, two bars of energy. So there's a chance. There's a chance. That was one. Lombardi. Good job. Up to Klo. 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 Klo to Jacobson. Bear. Oh, he poked that away. No, we couldn't. Man, there it's really awkward when you're, like, kind of getting hit. You'll, like, delay on the slap shot just a little bit. Another huge hit, and Lack will toss that out. Klo now taking it into the zone. No, nope, he'll dump it and hit the face of one of their players. Nick Schultz. Oh, geez, Tyler Kennedy over here, over here. Hamuse, the shot. Oh, it just was wide, or Hovenin got just a little bit of blocker on it. But um, when they hit you, it seems like your slap shot will just delay no matter what. Lack passing that out. Get that up to Cassie. And we're going to have to take a change now to Hamuse. Hamuse, what's he doing? He's passing it to Henrik. Henrik, over to Zach Cassian. If we can get this, nope. Hovenin's going to cover it. And I think that will do it. We will lose the first game of the season. 5-4 to four to the Edmonton Oilers. Payarvi showing his name right there. And... Uh, uh, who's that? I don't know, but he's uh, giving Hovenin that 
nice little rub on the head that all winning goalies love to have. And man, Luongo just, or Lack, sorry, we don't. Do we even, I should check to see if we even have Luongo anymore. Lack just had some good saves, but none of the really clutch saves that we needed. That was a good goal right there. That was our goof goal that gave us a glimmer of hope that was dashed by Everly dancing like a ballerina and Taylor Hall one-timing it above the blocker of Lack. A 5-4 loss to the Edmonton Oilers. And we're playing Lack again, so I am now even more concerned about the status of Luongo. But we are back in Vancouver, ready to serve the dish best served cold to these Edmonton Oilers. We're going to get a little bit of revenge on them. Henrik Sedin winning that faceoff. Okay. Oh, Bear has it. Take it into the zone. Take a slap shot. Is that Hoven in again? Um, I don't know. Number 40 something. I didn't see his number last time. Let's see if they'll show us uh, behind the uh, behind the jersey. No, it didn't. Look, was that Dubnik? Do they have Devin Dubnik? Because uh, that could be a force to be reckoned with right there. I mean, if he played anything like he did this year. Hamuse with a shot. Ah, oh, Bear could not hold the zone. We didn't get that follow that rebound properly. Okay, Dipsy Doodle by him. Henrik, that's for you. Tangay with a nice shot. Yep, that was definitely Dubnik. And Nick Schultz almost taking that one into their own net. Over to Justin, I believe his brother, but maybe unrelated. Hemsky, oh, we couldn't even get that off his stick, but it was deflected the wrong way. Justin Schultz, but Henrik Sedin will pick that one up. Now we follow Tangay. Okay, Daniel. Daniel with the shot, but uh, Hemsky coming up with it. We're going to poke at him. It didn't work. Now we're out of position as a defenseman. Oh, we poked that right to Lack. Oh, that was a little uh, scary right there. Higgins taking it. No, Higgins. Higgins. No, no. We were taking a change, buddy. I mean, we're still holding a lead, so that's good. But remember what happened last time when we were holding a lead? You know, the one that happened just like four minutes ago or something? Maybe a little bit further back than that. But uh, we don't want that to happen. Chip that up. Oh, we couldn't get it. Poke that away. Meatman. Oh, shot there. Hamuse tossing that around. Daniel Sedin to Bear. Uh, can I get some help? Henrik, take that in. Oh, we body blocked him right there. But, uh, did not end up helping as he still dumped the puck in. Now Horkoff dumping that one all the way around for Hamuse, who will... Ooh, Tange barely got that one. Tange, you know what? Yeah, send that over to Daniel. That'll work too. Daniel, shot on net. Horkoff now. With that one, he'll toss it up to Hart to Kanan. Hart to Kanan coming in. That's icing. Yeah, you can't do that. That was well before the line, good sir. You, you, you can't do that. It's bad. Now you can't take a change. Yeah, a good save by Lack right there. On uh, I think that was Meatman's shot. Uh, who's this 21 fellow? Yeah, it's Meatman. Make better passes out there. Well, sorry, coach. How about you make better coaching decisions out there? Put me on the third line. Oh, boy. We're on the penalty kill. Nothing good ever comes from us being on the penalty kill. Uh, yep. Oh, wow, that actually worked. Henrik? Nope, that was meant for Henrik. Oh, that guy took it to the face. Oh, that poor guy. Justin Schultz. Oh, Henrik gets it from Petrie. What, what happened? Did the net come off? Yeah, the net apparently just disappeared. Did he shoot it that hard? Like, what even happened? A good shot from Henrik, and then, oh, he got body blocked into it. Man, let's see this. Good shot, and then, boom! Two Oilers into the net, taking it well off its moorings. This power play is not very good. Let's take advantage of it for the rest of the game. Right? Yeah, we'll try. We'll try. We have 11 and a half minutes left in the game, 45 in the power play. Oh! It feels so good, but the Nuge ends up with it to Taylor Hall. Thankfully, he shot it wide. Okay, the Nuge, Justin Schultz to Everly. Get the Nuge, get the Nuge out of the play. Get the Nuge out of the play. Henrik Sedin. What just happened? Who took a penalty? Checking from behind. Checking from behind on Taylor Hall. On Henrik Sedin. Wow, that was from far out of the boards, too. Get out of here, Taylor Hall. You can't do that. Well, I mean, that... I, that pretty much means we're not going to be playing for the next five minutes or so. 
because uh, they don't want us on the power play. Although maybe we'll get some time. Hey, we'll score on the power play. We will get a little bit of power play time. I guess they realize that uh, probably got to take quite a few shifts because you don't want only your power play. Garrison with a nice shot there, but Smeed will get that. Garrison, get that back, get back, get back. Out in front to Bear Jacobson. Up to Alex Tangay to Bear on net. Oh, huge save by Devin Dubnik. One that he needs to make now that they're down 2-0. And we still have a long power play ahead of us. I mean, what are you going to do about that, Devin? Hmm? 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 I don't know. We'll find out. 7.56 left. Still on the power play. We still have, like, yeah, we, this is pretty much a normal power play now. Oh, and another one will go in from Daniel Sedin. Unfortunately, that's not a plus for us because we are on the power play, but man, if it were, I would be super happy. But Daniel Sedin, his first of the year from Henrik and Tangay. A nice shot. Just a nice soft one that Dubnik let in. Maybe five hole? We'll see if this one shows us. Shot, yep, right under that right pad. Come on, you got to get down faster than that. Get down, get funky. Okay, Kessler taking the face off for the Canucks now. Eberly will pick it up. I will poke it away, but Horkoff still ends up with it. Can we get that guy out of here? Yeah, okay. Burrows, Burrows rushing forward, taking it in. Back to Bear. Take that shot. Man, if that one had gone in too, that just would have been too nice. Burrows once again. Held up against the boards, but he gets it. Smeed trying to clear the puck. Will get it to Everlay. Okay, and we're going to go down. Someone lost their bucket. We'll chip that up. The ice to Higgins, who's number 10, because uh, he's playing without a helmet. Take that in, Burrows. You know what? Take that to Bear. A shot on net. They'll end up with it. Oh, geez. They almost got a breakaway because of my huge rebound potential. Oh, that one went to Justin. That got between Lack and I. <laughs> And a shorthanded goal for Justin Schultz. I thought we had the net all covered there. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Let's see this one. He shot it. Maybe under Luongo's pad. Let's see. This one will be a good view, probably. Nope. Just right in between us. Over my stick. Under Lax glove. Nothing. Nothing can stop that puck. And, of course, that's a minus for us because stupid power plays. <laughs> Well, that power play is over, so now maybe we'll score and we'll get a plus value. Otherwise, we're going to be at, like, minus 17, and uh, you won't like me on minus 17. I get angry. Take this guy out of the play. Oh, a tip. What a block. No, a save by Lack. And now Tangay getting good shot. Tangay, send that back. Oh, a huge close-up shot that will leave Bear Jacobson on the ground. Gagne getting shoved around. Daniel Sedin now putting against the boards. Alex Martinez, like LA Kings Stanley Cup goal scorer. Alex Martinez, maybe. Smeed. Bear will get it. Oh, Bear with a huge shot. Bear with a huge shot. Oh, man, and nothing could get by Devin. We just don't have the wrist shot accuracy to aim that and snipe it over his pads. So we could barely even loft it in the air, but what a chance that was. Two of them, actually. That first one almost went five hole. That second one almost passed the pad, but just Dubnik playing on his head, spinning around all crazy-like. Oh, man, that is a shame. Thought for sure that was going to be our first goal of the season, but it will not be. Okay, Pyarvi in front. You know what, Lack? Toss that out. Who is that? Kessler? Yeah, get that up to me. I don't even care at this point. Another shot. Another one out over the glass. Dubnik just blocking these all up in the air for the people in the upper bowl. Because, you know, we want some pucks too. The pucks never come to us. You just got to deflect them high enough. But those fans going crazy. They'll get a puck signed in the best way by both Bear Jacobson and Devin Dubnik. And really, what more could you want? Uh, I know, I would like a 3-1 victory over the Edmonton Oilers, so thank you for giving us that. Oh, Lombardi coming over, rubbing Lack's head. Okay, I'm definitely going to check out our goalie situation after this. It doesn't seem like we have Luongo, because I don't think he would have dropped far enough to be worse than Lack, but, uh, you know, who knows? But if we're playing Staylock and backup, oh man, that's just going to be crazy. 
Oh, that goal was just awful. I mean, is, are these the huge saves? Yeah, huge saves by Dubnik. You show both of them. There you go. First one really showed one. And then another one. That's the one that went into orbit. Uh, but we'll get the 3-1 victory and exact our revenge on the Edmonton Oilers. And it appears that we do still have Luongo, but I was wrong. He has dropped far enough to be replaced by Eddie Lack. They are both 83 overall, so I suppose that uh, they are just giving Lack the starter job because he's going to grow and Luongo's not. So uh, Luongo may be close to retiring as well. We should watch out for that at the end of this year or maybe trade him away? Who knows? Oh, here we go. We got it. Okay, up to Daniel. Daniel, go with it. Daniel, back to Tange. I mean, not like I wanted it or anything, but that's okay. Henrik gets it deep once more, but Petra Angelo will pick it up and send it forward to Stewart, to Berglund. Okay, I'm gonna poke that. Nope, didn't work. Lack, toss that out. I got that one. That one I could manage. We're just gonna take that in. Take a nice shot on net. Higgins maybe will get that. Fantastic. And the wraparound off the crossbar. But Alexander Steen will pick that one up. Cole now up to... Uh, is this Yossi or Ollie Jokinen? I don't know, but we're going to try and poke it. We couldn't. TJ Oshie now off the crossbar. Burrows couldn't get it fast enough up to us and lack with a good save right there. Higgins up to Bear. Bear up to Kessler. Oh, Kessler didn't end up with it, unfortunately. We're taking a change. Kessler tipping that one, ending up with it, but a save from Yaroslav Halak, and Bo Meester got it, ending that rush for us. Oh, that one could have been good. We're down 2-1. should probably mention that. Uh, Yannick Hansen, I believe he scored our goal. So, whoop. Swip around, get that up to the point. Oh, and that made it by, uh, but uh, just didn't bounce into the goal. Yaroslav Halak will pick that one up off of Booth's stick after it was picked loose from Tyler Kennedy. Okay, guys, 16 and a half minutes of score a goal. We've been kind of not good at scoring lately. Oh, man, he got the full rotation in that slap shot, and it still didn't go in. That's him. Impressive. Who's number 36? Is that Yannick Hansen? It, it, it might be. Good job. We'll say it's Hansen. Good job, Hansen, because that was an almighty Bear Jacobson style slap shot right there. And everyone knows that those are the hardest to save in the league. Kessler winning that back to Bear, who's going to get it up to Burroughs. Burroughs will dump it in because he had nowhere to go. Higgins now around the net. Nope, it'll get poked away, but Kessler will get that one up to... Oh, Hamuse misses that one-timer. That could be problematic. Tarasenko pinned up against the boards. Poke that away. Uh, oh, Bear Jacobson did not get that one. Hamuse now has it. There you go. Up to Bear. Who's open? Who's open? No, Kessler, you were supposed to head to the left wing. Whatever. We'll take that shot. And we'll kind of sm all smash into Jackman. Roman Polak up to Johansson. Johansson. Steen to Jackman. Back it up. Tarasenko. Oh, we just missed him. Oh, no. huge save by Lack and rebound control by none other than Bear Jacobson. Oh, man, I really have to sneeze. That is not good when I'm playing an intense game of hockey. Okay. Roman Polak tipped by number 20, but Steen will get it. Back to Polak. He'll send it all the way up. Hamuse will pick it up, but Tarasenko will batter him down. And Tarasenko one-on-one. -on -one. Lack comes out victorious. Tarasenko once again up the boards. Steen picking that one up. Nothing can separate these blues from this puck. Johansson now with a shot. Hamuse. Oh, I didn't realize that I picked it up and I sent that around the boards. But that's okay because we got it. Ooh, we're just going to dodge past that guy. Get in close enough to dump it in and take that change because good golly, Miss Molly, we need that stamina. Kessler to Hamus, shot on goal. Burroughs has it. Coming around. Come on, guys. Over to Garrison. Garrison towards the net. Ah, no, nah, that one missed the net entirely. 11.23 left to make a difference. Come on, guys. We're 1-1-0 one, one already. At this point, we're only going to have, like, 82 points over the season. We'll be 41-41-0, and that is probably not enough.
for a playoff berth. Chip that forward. Good job. Cassian, take it and run. Take it and run. There we go. Okay. Clo to Bear to Hamuse. The shot. It was tipped, but I don't think by our person. I think it bounced off a of blue skater. Zach Cassian. No, Berglund. Bounced off Berglund's. And now Stewart got it because Bear Jacobson was out of position on that one. Oh, uh, poke at it. Better yet. Oh, uh, there we go. Well, we got it. Oh, the tip in front. Hamuse saving that rebound. Oh, geez, Stewart once more. Okay, stop the cross cruises. He's going to pick it up. Stewart again. Get this guy out of the play. Get this guy out of the play. Yeah, do good job. Good job. Lombardi. Great work. Oh, no, no. We took a change. We took a change. Berglund, one-on-one, -on -one, but lack victorious again. Man, come on, Lombardi. You had that one out of the zone, and you just goofed. You goofed. That's okay. They're taking it all the way back into their zone because they don't know how to move forward. Berglund into the zone, but offsides. Well, nice try. Nice try. Henrik Sedin, four points in two games. He's going to be a 160-point scorer. Mark my words. Two points per game average. Great work. Except for in this one. He only has one, obviously. Oh, a huge block on that dump in. Cassian will end up with it. Cassian, get that over Hammies. Back to Cassian. To Bear. Step into it. Oh, a huge save. Huge, huge, huge save. I believe we're supposed to be like trying to make a difference. He's got a 96% save in this Yaroslav Halak does. Okay, so I think we got to hit people. We got to take shots. What is it? Yeah, go out there and make something happen. We can try that. We probably should have been trying to do that more often, but oh well. Three minutes left. Now we got to make something happen in so little time. I'm assuming we had a power play somewhere in there. Okay. So take this cross crease opportunity out of here. Oh no, the other one! Zach Ryder, I think, is his name, but he'll just put that over Lax Blocker. Oh, what a shame. I was taking one guy, but uh, Oshi saw another guy. See, I had my guy all defended for the cross crease, but what can I do about that one? I'm going to pin that one on Ryan Kessler. He was not with his man. That one, I think I can actually say, maybe with a little bit of certainty, that it wasn't my fault. Perhaps. <laughs> I'm still not really sure how defenders work. 15 seconds left. Why are we even getting a shift? Can we make something happen? Burrows to Bear. Bear towards the net. It's going to hit a Canuck and bounce away. Ryder, the goal scorer, all the way around to Oshi. And time will expire. And we're going to have to take a 3-1 loss to the St. Louis Blues. Yaroslav Halak playing a heck of a game right there. Uh, and Ollie slash UC Yossi, which one is it? Y Yossi Jokinen, I think. No, it's Ollie. Yeah, no, that sounds right. I think it's Ollie or Yossi. One of the two. I'm not really sure, but uh, good shot attempts. But uh, the Blues came up bigger. Oh, that just that chip to keep it in the zone. Apparently, that was really nice. That was when I accidentally took a shift. And Zach Ryder's goal, Luanga just steps too far off the post, and he's beaten short side, 3-1 loss to the Blues. Well, this season's not starting off as well as we'd hoped. We're 1-2-0, but we're not the only ones there. In fact, we'll be going up against the 1-2-0 Winnipeg Jets, as well as the 2-1-0 Blackhawks, and the 2-1-0 Red Wings, <sighs> all in the next video. So, we just gotta try and improve our record, but with Lack, our starter goalie, that's a little bit worrisome. Anyways, I'm supposed to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Until next time on NHL 14, live the life with Bear Jacobson. Goodbye.